Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me this video today. I do appreciate that. Make sure that you do put comments in below about what we're going to talk about. There's just a lot of stuff that's going on. Going on. And, you know, are we going to have, going to have a Christmas this year? Will you be able to? Who knows? Everything that you're waiting for is in these containers on these container ships that are setting off the ports in basically California because virtually every U.S. home contains items that go through these ports in Los Angeles and Long Beach. Okay, the, the, the two neighboring ports are basically two nautical miles apart from each other and they're the two largest in the country. You know, they're measured by the containers that they can handle and hold with all Los Angeles holding the top spot because it can unload it can handle more uh, ships and containers so it does come in number one as the largest port in the country now what does this all mean for you basically just about anything that you're going to find in your house and your stores and everything else with the exception of probably a 20 to 30 percent um, does come through these ports at some given point in time in its history and that includes anything from your clothes to shoes, furniture, toys, everyday household goods, such as your kitchenware, um, cleaning supplies, and food products. Now, there is also a huge part of these ports, you know, they handle these containers. Now, a lot of these containers are either two different sizes. There's a 20-foot size and a 40-foot size. So, the 40-foot is the more common type container that is brought into the ports all right <clears throat> they are those steel shipping containers that you see on the news or anywhere else that you've seen photos and stuff and you see them they stack them up nice and high now the ports are also supposed to be running under uh president joe biden there he put through a thing where he wanted him to run 24 7. well here's the problem i don't think the president quite thought this one out too well because there's a huge shortage of truck drivers right now in this country now what that what does that mean for you you know all these truck drivers if you go by the the minnesota trucking association estimates that the country has a shortage of over 60,000 truck drivers due to long time recruitment issues, early retirements from all the old truckers, and with the COVID canceled driving school classes. So if you really would have thought this one out, Mr. President, let me give you a bit of advice. Next time you might want to think about how this stuff is actually moved. You know, they do use trains, then they trucks. That's usually the two main ways that these things are transported across our country from the West Coast to the East Coast. It's just a fact. And if you're short that many drivers, and if you're short that much of equipment and time and warehouse workers and places to store these things how can these ports run 24 7. actually folks they are not running 24 7 if you really go in and do your homework and these ports are still shutting down between the hours of like 2 to 3 a.m to about 8 a.m in the morning because they don't have any drivers to move all these containers so it doesn't make sense for them to keep trying to unload these things because they have no place to put them because if you have the shortage you can't move the goods you can stack it up so high but they've run out of room there's been reports of them stacking stuff in the streets and everything else. And now they're looking to use um, abandoned land and everything else around the ports where they can truck it over there and stack them over there and everything else. And well, what good is that doing us? We have so many of the, uh, the, the, the supply chain is so broken, folks. It's just not funny. And in, it's not going to come back online fully until at the earliest is what they're saying is 2023 and that is a very long ways away aluminum prices is another thing that you really have to pay attention to because just this year since january that has jumped over 40 percent and almost nine percent in just the past month because you see everybody is going to want to jump on the bandwagon because we're coming into the holiday season 
hunts, you know, no Christmas this year. You know, if you don't get out and start getting some of the stuff that you really want for Christmas, right down to your dinner, folks, between the holidays of Thanksgiving and Christmas, you may not get much. You might find yourself with that piece of coal, if you get what I'm saying. It's a very sad thing to say coming from this country, but it is the ultimate truth. You know, everybody is increasing all their prices. They want to make more money. They want to take advantage of a lot of the different situations that are going on. And they know that no matter what they do or what they charge, in the end, guess what, folks? You're going to pay the price because you want to make sure that you do have a nice family get together meal either for thanksgiving for christmas you're going to pay whatever the gas prices are you're going to pay whatever the airfare is and these people know it okay they know they got you by the cojones if you get what i'm saying because they know what you want and what you're going to do and they're going to get every last penny they can out of you it's really sad isn't it Welcome to America. So comment below and tell me what you think about all these different situations that are taking place. And do you think that they're trying to control? Do you think they're trying to uh, manipulate the whole system and control what we get, what we buy, how much we pay? What do you think? What's on your mind about this situation? Is it all staged? Is it all being played out like a game of Russian roulette? Are we gambling more than we should be? I don't know, folks. All I do know is prepare to pay more, prepare to get less. If you're not prepping now, you may be out of luck in the next few months things are starting to get tight and it's all setting out in the water think about it i'm survival preparedness for beginners till next time catch you all on the flip side mm -hmm.